Hello everyone. Been a while since I'd done a video, so I thought I'd do a little DIY uh, how-to kind of video. This is a mixer board, powered uh, mixer board from my church. They asked me if I could take a look at it. It uh, just went dead, and uh, there's not a whole lot on these amps as far as actually successful repairs. So I thought I'd do this because it looks like I've got a chance for a successful repair. I opened it up and uh, got it apart uh, with the help of some similar models on YouTube. So I got the concept of how it's assembled. Got it apart. Got the power supply out with a little difficulty because the, a lot of the connectors are glued in. So you got to break the hot glue to get it apart. And i got to take care of that as I put it back together. But uh, I'm going to show you right up real close here. I'm pretty sure that this is the problem. If you look you can see that that, that lead has come out of the solder. Um, let's see if I can get some better light on that. See it's come out of the solder there. I don't know you might be able to zoom that up. Um, I took a couple of stills so I can capture the moment if you will. Um, before I disturbed it, but anyway, the unit is dead, totally dead, nothing works, fuse was not blown, um, so that was my clue that there's something internal there that uh, happened on its own, not precipitated. So let's get this uh, repaired. Uh, I don't think I have to show you the repair process. Let me flip this over and show you the bottom real quick. Hang on. Now you can see the bottom looks perfectly good, nothing burned. And of course that's the first place I looked was the bottom. I expected something to be burned or some visible signs of overheating or something. But you see there's none of that going on there. And the one in question is this one right here. That one right there. So I'm going to desolder that and clean it up and make sure I uh, get everything back tight and then we'll see what happens. Okay now I've gotten it apart. I mean I've gotten the uh, solder off the joint there and if you look you can see that the lead does not protrude through the hole you know just barely touching on the top so I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean it up both sides put the lead back through solder it well and we'll go from there okay here we are back I've soldered that that joint there that connection got the wire protruded through you can see there's a nice little protrusion there of the wire lead. Now I'm going to go back and just touch those others, the four, the three others of the four leaded choke. That's the line input choke by the way. Um, part of the AC power input. Well I guess my iron doesn't get hot enough but I can see the leads are protruding there. Anyway, this is uh, lead free solder of course and my iron is set up for lead solder, lead tin. So it's not working very well on this. Um, well, you can see the other leads are intact and they're in the holes. So we got a pretty good chance that we got a repair here. So I'm going to clean that up and we'll get back and put it back together see what we get. I mentioned the hot glue issue and uh, you can see that those two fan jacks there, those were hot glued. That wasn't too much of a problem. But the real problem was this one down here. You see this one right here, see that row of pins? There was a, um, a connector there and the plug was glued in such a way that the latch that latches and secures it to the mating half had hot glue in it and it couldn't be operated so the entire body of the receptacle pulled out so now I have to get the hot glue out and put that back together before I can reassemble it. So we'll come back for that. Okay, this is the plug and socket combination I was talking about. And right here, I don't know if you can see it, but there's hot glue down in that latch so that you can't depress it. So I have to get that out of there. That's my next step. Okay, I don't know if you can see that or not, but I've got the hot glue out of there. There, that's a pretty good angle. See, now you can depress the latch. Okay, so now I have to put it back on the board in the way that it was oriented and then unlatch it and disconnect it so that I can reassemble this unit. 
Okay, that one's back in place. That one's back in place. You see it's in the right orientation, in the right location. Now the other one I noticed is also the same situation. This one is the same thing. It's got hot glue in there, so I need to get that apart. Get the hot glue out of there and put that uh, mating half back on the power amp. That's where that came from, the power amp. This is the signal down to the power amp from, from the powered mixer, uh, the mixer board itself. And by the way, if I didn't mention it already, it is a Behringer EuroPower PMP6000. Just in case I didn't say so, I don't recall if I did or not. It's late at night, you have to excuse me. I just decided to get in this and see if I could repair it at nearly midnight. Um, okay, pause for now. Okay, there it is. Back together, uh, at least the bottom, the bottom half, the power supply and the power amp. And there's all the wires connected. The wires are are marked on the board for as far as color so there's not really a way to mess it up the choke is in there well got my connectors back together everything's interconnected there need to um, plug in the top board which has all the mixer stuff on it and just those two plugs two plugs two jacks and we're back in business we'll see if it works well and there we are it fires up. Uh, I don't know how to operate these things because I'm not an audio re uh, uh, audio audiologist or whatever you want to call it. But um, I don't know how to use a lot of the stuff I repair. I just know how to try to find what's going on and what's broken. And I would expect all this is good. There might be some dirty controls or whatnot, but that's for another time because they can use it and point out what might be necessary. But this gets the church's board back in order. This is now a backup board because they had to buy a new one to uh, get by. And maybe I was down with my feet, sorry, foot surgery at the time. I don't know. But there it is, the Behringer Euro Power PMP6000. And it's working. A good deal for God. Thank you, Lord, for making it so easy.